Centipedes. Just saying the word gives some people chills. But trust me, these little leggy predators are way more fascinating than frightening. Let's dive into the secret world of centipedes and see what makes them so extraordinary. First up, not all centipedes are created equal. The class Chilopoda is split into a few wild orders. Meet the Geophilomorpha, or soil centipedes. These are the underground marathoners, super long, super thin, with up to 191 legs, and most don't even have eyes. Then there's the Scolopendromorpha, think the Amazonian giant centipede. These guys are the heavyweights, fast, venomous, and some big enough to snack on rodents and even bats. Stone centipedes, or Lithobiomorpha, are the sprinters. Shorter bodies, 15 pairs of legs, and lightning quick. And finally, Scutigeromorpha, the house centipedes with their delicate, super long legs. If you've ever seen one dashing up your wall, you know what I mean. Centipedes are all about the hunt. They're strict carnivores, feasting on insects, spiders, and sometimes even each other. Some, like those giant scolopendrids, are bold enough to snatch frogs, lizards, and yes, bats, literally hanging from cave ceilings to ambush their prey. Their secret weapon? Venomous forcipules like fangs but for legs. One quick jab and their dinner is paralyzed. Now here's a twist. Centipede moms are surprisingly devoted. After laying eggs in cozy, damp spots, some mothers curl around their clutch, cleaning and guarding them until they hatch. Baby centipedes start with just a few legs and add more with every molt. Growing up can take years, and a lucky centipede might live a whole decade. Worried about bites? Don't panic. For most people, it's like a bee sting. Painful, sure, but rarely dangerous. Just don't pick one up, especially the big ones. So. Next time you spot a centipede, remember, you're looking at a tiny, ancient predator with a story millions of years in the making. Who knew something so small could be so cool?